Yes, everyone, you know what time it is. It's your boy Jack here at the Irish Hotspur. Let's welcome Luka Vuskovic to Tottenham Hotspur here, everybody. We've been given the here we go from Fabrizio Romano. It is going to be, I imagine, alone until he is 18 years old. He's still 16, very young, very talented. If you maybe are familiar with him in any way, it's probably because Fabrizio Romano tweeted about him, I felt like, last season at some stage. Might have been around the January period or at least mid-season about this guy being interested or at least, you know, sort of looked at by a variety of very talented clubs. So everybody, this is going to be sort of our uh, at least best attempt at giving a scout report on this guy and what he will bring to Tottenham Hotspur at some stage. He is definitely going to be a signing for the future, but still, this is definitely going to be one of the most exciting as well as sort of talented center backs around Europe that Spurs have somehow been able to get a hold of. But everybody, smash that like button for me, please. Leave those comments down below and also let me know your thoughts on Spurs going after such a young and as well as talented player but not one exactly for the here and now now again just to mention just to clear things up he is going to be on loan until he's 18 years old we can't even move him to another club you know uh, out on loan or anything I think that's because of some sort of rule where you're not allowed to actually officially sign players or you're not allowed to officially bring them over to the club until they at least turn 18 years of age be kind of nice if we could actually give him a loan spell maybe in a slightly more competitive league than the Croatian league but still we know he's going to get a lot of playing time for his current club or at least his uh you know the club that he went through as an academy player at high to split he's 16 years of age born in 2007 on February 24th so in 2024 he will be turning 17 he was born in split Croatia and came through the high to split academy and has probably been maybe one of their more talented or at least more well-known at least uh, products in a long time he's a center back by the way he's six feet four inches too already at 16 years of age he is right-footed and when you look at a lot of the other clubs that were interested in him I think alongside us were at least uh, made their interest a bit more clear or at least a bit more kind of aware to the the mainstream media were PSG Man City Newcastle as well as Real Madrid so again this really is a real coup of a signing to have you know signed one of the more talented center backs of his age group around Europe, but also ahead of so many, you know, big clubs such as uh, such as those. He does come also as well from a long line of footballers. I believe his uh, his grandparents uh, were uh, players for Hajduk Split, or at least uh, one of his, uh, you know, I think his great grandfather, and then maybe even his grandfather might have been a player for Hajduk Split. Uh, I think his father, as well as his brothers, all play uh, played football or do play football in some capacity as well. But he likely will be maybe the most talented of the long line of footballers. In the Vuskovic family. Let's take a look at some of the pretty impressive achievements he's already been able to have at 16 years old. He became the youngest Croatian scorer ever to score in the UEFA Youth League. So when you look at some players like Perisic, Kovacic, Modric, all that you know came through the Croatian uh, uh, leagues as well as the Croatian academies, he's actually the youngest Croatian player to ever even play in those UEFA Youth Leagues as well as score in that UEFA Youth League. But he also made unofficially his debut at 15 years old uh, for the senior team of Hajduk split, I believe, against a third division side called Urania. And then also he scored not much long, um, not much longer after that against Schalke in another debut at uh, 15 years old as well. And that, again, is such an achievement for a 15-year-old against such a big club like Schalke. And another pretty impressive achievement was that he made his official debut against uh, Dinamo Zagreb at 16 years of age in an actual league match. And that is known as also, again, the eternal derby between Dinamo Zagreb and Hajduk split. So it's 16 years old and his first ever official start in an actual official game was in their biggest match of the season pretty early on. And this was also, again, just shortly uh, turning uh, 16. I think he was after him like turning it like two days ago or something like that prior. So such a huge achievement for somebody, again, you know, to, to do that at such an early age. And he did actually score not much longer, you know, after that in a, in a separate match, I believe in a Croatian domestic uh, cup competition of some kind. He scored uh, at just 16 years old in five days and was actually the youngest ever Croatian to ever score uh, for Hajduk Split at such an age and might be, I think, on top of it, it could be exaggerating, but the youngest player, I think, in general to score uh, in uh, in the Croatian leagues, I think, at such an age. He is the second highest scorer, too, you know, when he was playing uh, for the Hajduk Split sort of uh, youth team. He's the second highest uh, scorer in their whole squad, which uh, says a lot, and I think that's because he took penalties, if I'm not mistaken, for them. He also scored a few goals, if you've seen some of his highlights from his own, inside of his own half. 
half. And he also is very massive for his own age. You know, he's six feet, four inches for a 16 year old and is a real threat in the opposition penalty area from set pieces as well. So he's been able to score a lot of goals in that regard when you look at it too. This is a pretty impressive uh, list of achievements for such a young kid that I was able to read up on and comb through uh, various articles for. But I must say, I think the most impressive one has to be the fact that he did make his official debut in an official capacity in, in a league game against uh, against Dinamo Zagreb, of course, you know, maybe the biggest club in Croatia and in the biggest derby as well in Croatia in the eternal derby uh, at 16 years of age. I just think that's such an impressive uh, feat for such a young kid and also shows the trust that clearly he's been given by the coaches as well as just the, the entire club and organization in split Croatia in the first place. Now, if we were to bring up any stats, I wish we could, but, you know, I'm not able to get any sort of information when it comes to sort of, you know, his stats in either the Croatian league or when he's, you know, played for his youth teams. And so we kind of just have to work on sort of the seeing eye test from highlights as well as what I've been able to read from various articles. I wish that I could be an expert on this guy because I absolutely love, you know, players that come from Croatia, players that come from Serbia. Most of the itches I usually am, uh, at least as best I can be, you know, an expert on. It's just, you know, that area of the world that I just think produce such talent talented and technically gifted players and especially in the case of Croatia for such a small nation they really do produce such an array of talents in so many different positions and also as well you look at you know their ability to compete you know against some of the best teams in and around the world you know for being such a small nation I just find them to be such a such a cool country in that regard when it comes to their at least production of footballers and you know Vuskovic like I said you know I wish I could be an expert on in this case if I had the the access to be able to watch you know the the Croatian league or had the ability to be able to watch Croatian youth league games and Croatian uh, UEFA youth league games and etc. I would, I absolutely would watch those games, but sadly I cannot. So all these sort of uh, attributes that I'm listing on screen here, I've been able to gather through, you know, maybe my uh, assessment of some of the highlight packages that are out there, but also mostly really from sort of uh, uh, various articles and whatnot on the player. Uh, what, what, what I've been able to gather is that he does have very good long passing, uh, his ability Ability to sort of spray passes, you know, from the out of the back, you know, from the defense is pretty impressive for a kid of his age. And he does it with a really nice technique as well. He's able to put a lot of sort of backspin on it, able to let it have that sort of loft to it, but also kind of zip it over where, you know, the defender isn't able to catch up to it. So he does have very good technique and how he's able to spray the ball left and right, as well as over the top of the defense too. And you even look at some of the goals that he even uh, scored from inside of his own half. He definitely has a very good shot on him or at least has a very good sort of strike and just has a good sort of technique in general. He's very composed on the ball and seems to be a very keen dribbler from his highlights from when I was able to tell. He really loves to dribble out of the defense and actually made a bit of a, a fool or at least a bit of a mockery of uh, some of the defenses and the way that he was able to carry it out from the back. He has actually a lot of confidence, I think, in that you know, ability of his. He actually reminds me a bit of a young Alfie Dorrington, you know, in our own academy in that regard. Alfie Dorrington really rates his own ability. You can tell in him being able to carry the ball out of the defense, pass players to kind of get a move going. And it looks like Vuskovic here is kind of similar in that regard. Also, too, I think his dribbling and, uh, you know, his uh, his ball carrying skills are just a real sign of his own confidence and his own ability, right? Because players that maybe are in the defense, you know, at that sort of age, you know, usually they're just sort of trying to flush out you know, a lot of their sort of, you know, defensive attributes, some of their passing, but he seems to be confident in a lot of it. So you're seeing him, you know, trying to start moves on his own, you know, as a center back, very impressive. He's also very dominant in the air from what I've heard in various articles and what I've read. And he also scored plenty of goals, uh, you know, in the, in his youth team setup, I think from set pieces. And also I think because he's able to take, uh, I think penalties for them too, but he is definitely, you know, a real set piece threat for how tall he is, how strong he is, and just, I think the fact that he is just a, a center back, you know, at such a young age with those sort of physical uh, physical attributes, I think you are going to quickly, you know, kind of develop at least some sort of, uh, you know, threat or at least some sort of, uh, um, 
how would you put it, kind of a knack to be able to, to score more from set pieces than maybe other center backs around his age. And then, too, you just look at how big he is, how tall he is. He's definitely going to come with a lot of strength, and he's going to definitely have some huge sort of physical prowess over a lot of players, especially for being only 16. I mean, he is absolutely massive. Um, when you look at his weaknesses, from what we're told, not really many. Uh, the, the, I believe the youth talent sort of uh, scout expert, I believe his name is Yasek Kulig, um, has said and has come out and he has, you know, a pretty wide following on Twitter, seems to be well respected, at least amongst a lot of sort of the, I don't know, sort of the talent scouts or at least social media talent scouts of the world that he, he's a very sort of well regarded and uh, well known center back that pretty much has not a lot of weaknesses for his age and he pretty much has uh, sort of a, one of the highest ceilings of any center back in his age group. So it's just hard to really get a gauge on that. You know, it's really hard to even give a, a real testament of how good this kid can be. But from sort of the the murmurings and sort of the, the word around the block and some of the interest that has come in for this kid and the fact that Spurs have signed him at such a young age, clearly he must be one of the most talented center backs in his age group and clearly must not have that many weaknesses in his game if we are going to be signing him at such a young age and if he is going to be so well regarded. But of course, being so young, he's going to have a lot of developing to do. He's also at some stage going to need to be given some type of action and a much, you know, sort of a, you know, more competitive as well as more physical and faster league. And it's going to be an interesting one to see how Spurs go about his development. I'm very excited that we've done this and I'm very excited that we brought in such a player in the first place. You know, it feels like you know, Spurs, I don't know, we haven't exactly invested in the youth for a long time until I think Paratici came into play. And now we're seeing such a heavy revamp of sort of our youth talent as well as sort of the, the academy talent. Just in general, the squad age has been lowered and the majority of our better players are in and around that sort of 25 and under uh, sort of range. So it's just good to see uh, Spurs kind of just sort of reshaping how the squad looks and how the future looks. And looks like Luka Vuskovic is definitely going to be one of the future for, for Spurs. Ashley Phillips, Alfie Dorrington, Vuskovic now. And I believe there's, um I think his name might be Abbott, or there could be another sort of defender that we have coming through the ranks as well. Spurs not only are producing great attackers in the academy, but now are having a lot of really talented defenders coming through as well. It's just brilliant to see, and I'm absolutely all for it. I absolutely approve this signing. Hit that like button, please, on the way out. Smash uh, as well the subscribe if you are new to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment down below whether you think this is a good signing for Spurs. Of course, you know, you have to think about should we have probably brought in, you know, somebody in the first place, you know, this summer to really help out Ange on top of maybe an Ashley Phillips signing. But at least for the future, you know, just thinking, you know, with that in mind, I really do approve of this. But let me know your thoughts on on it in those comments down below and I will be seeing you come on you Spurs into the big Ange I trust